guys, welcome once again to ASFN. Um, I'm doing the double hook raggy trays. All I'm going to do today is show you how we bait it up. It's very, very quick, very simple. What we require for it is the thick latex cotton, a choker hammer, and a knife. This mackerel is still pretty much frozen. It's a nice Eastern Cape mackerel, big head, <clears throat> which again is ideal for um, what we're trying to achieve. Okay. First thing, there's our dangle, is to measure the length that we want it to be. So we lay our bait next to it, we don't want it to be longer than that. So we're going to take the head, chop the head off over there, like that, which is lovely, chop that way. And now all we're going to do is just pretty much form the shape that we want for aerodynamic purposes when it comes to casting. So we're just going to cut everything down, expose a lot more of the actual flesh in that. <clears throat> there we go, that looks more like it. Cut that down a bit. Take our uh, scissors, open up the gills, and we're just going to quickly expose some of the gills. Okay, now all we're doing is exposing a lot more blood, a lot more smell as quickly as we can. Okay, so now what we do is we just take our dangle puller. Um, from the back through the middle area and what you do is you just twist and push twist and push until it comes out there we go through the mouth I've already got my dangle here which I don't need to do just take him off quickly I then take my dangle puller through the side that's got the um, heat shrink on and do it the wrong way around that way through there, there we go pull it through the heat shrink side must end up on the top the first hook which is the bottom hook goes through the lip and then through the heat shrink which is perfect over there Got it. That one sits over there, like that, and you're happy. It's all secure. We then take our PE mackerel and our thick latex cotton, and we start binding it up. <coughs> And the reason we use the thick latex cotton, it's a lot stronger than the thin. So when this mackerel starts defrosting, it'll actually start squeezing out all the actual juice. Now what we're going to do is take a whole lot of cutlets. And just cut a whole lot of thin cutlets over here. And start adding the cutlets to the actual bait itself. Cut that part off, we don't want that hard part there. Thin cutlets, guys. There we go. Okay. The back part of the actual uh, mackerel is nice, it's round is what we're going to start to build on. We want this part here, this part here, to be nice and round. We start adding. Okay. 
remember these are the smaller parts of the mackerel that we are adding first the bigger parts we'll keep for later to roll over them That's all we did. Now we start taking our chocker hammer and just lightly softening up our mackerel. This is going to allow the actual smell to come out a lot faster when it hits the water. And it's also easier for us to actually form the bait that we're looking for. Okay, so there we go. You can see how now it's already starting to become round. There we go. And that is actually, I don't need to add more than that. Just a little bit on the back here. And as you can see, the shape that you want is there. It's nice, it's round. There's the center of gravity. Although the hook is out on this side here, it stays nice and round, and that's where the center of gravity is. That's where your sinker is now going to hook onto. So just give me two seconds, I just want to go wash my hands. Okay, so pretty much this is how the trace looks. Okay, stand up. And again, that's the length of the trace, guys. There we go. That's the length of the trace. When you throw it, when it hits the water, that de hooks, that comes apart, and your leader is actually sitting all the way over here. So now what happens is the reggie will come around, the reggie will pick up the bait. Just hold it for me, please. Hold it. So the reggae will come, he'll pick up the bait, he'll either swim towards you and do this, but he can't go further than that. So you basically can't bite you off because you've still got an extra meter of line or wire on the top there. So there's no ways that reggae can actually bite you off. It's a very, very simple trace, it throws nicely, and yeah, like I said, there's no ways that that reggae can bite you off. You've got that much extra steel um, in front of him, basically. So you can't turn around and actually bite you off. That's what that whole chase is designed to do. Limited slide there. Obviously, you clipped up here. And it can only go as far as that knot. It can't go further than that. It can't go further than where that knot is. It's as simple as that. So you've got that much extra wire as um, security against the reggae biting back on you and that's a double look reggae trace for long distance casting there we go very simple very easy enjoy